right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. Uh, you know, we just got a little bit of news for y'all today, man. We got NBA 2K2 telling us about something about the pick, uh, the put back badge. We got NBA 2K Labs debunking one of the biggest myths in 2K history. And last but not least, uh, you know, we got your boy Tarsino says he's taking a little break, man. And, uh, he just, you know, it just is what it is, taking a break from the game, stepping back for a little while. And, uh, you know, so if you don't do anything else, make sure y'all like the video and go back and watch the video from yesterday, man. We dropped a banger yesterday talking about the Zen and Comp stage. It was hilarious. I don't know if a lot of people didn't see it or whatever, man, but uh, it didn't do as well as I would have thought it would have. And we did a lot of editing and all that stuff, man. So make sure y'all go check that out, man. And uh, other than that, like this video because you know YouTube links the likes to the number of people that get to see it. So let's get this to you know a like goal of 35 or something like that in the first hour. And other than that, I'm gonna holler at y'all in a second. Nino! You make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me sad. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. And like I said, man, you know, let's just talk about what Tyceno had to say first, man, because that's what everybody's here to see. He said he called it quits for a little bit. And uh, let's just check it out. I'm gonna read this in my Starlito Buttermilk voice. Yes, not to insult anyone, but I just like to read things in, in with a little bit, a bit of an accent when when I'm quoting Tyson. Taking a big break from taking a big break from everything before the new consoles drop has been amazing. I just stayed off the game and I'm loving life. I have I have I'm really happy and refreshed now. With streams back sometime soon in the next few days. Want to do a big wager since you hit legend? Ah, Chico Filo? Like I said, <laughs> anyway, man, look, and everybody in the comment section saying, you know, big W, big this, big that. Listen, man, Tarsino has been going hard since, what, the end of 2K19. They say he completely put 2K20 on his mic and told it that and just said, I got this. I came to save the game like I'm Luigi's brother and all that stuff, man. And um, I mean, I, I don't believe that. So I think 2K20 was a, me personally. I think 2K20 survived because it was a good game. Unpopular opinion. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good game. I, I thought that the diversity that, that you can make different players and be viable depending on your skill level was a big W. Unlike this game where it's independent of your skill level is the fact that your player can be marketedly better than somebody else's player and it, ha it literally has nothing to do with your skill level. I got a high shooter rating, I can shoot the ball. I have a low shooter rating, I can't shoot the ball. It doesn't matter how well I time it or how good I am or any of that stuff, man. So it just is what it is. That's something that I dislike about the game, but I definitely understand what he's saying about this. It's like every time, he, what I'm saying is playing the game from 19 straight through 20 and uh, you know, it's his job. And, and no matter how fun something is, when you have to do it, it becomes your job. So you're dropping videos every day. You're playing the game for content. You're dropping videos every day. You're streaming five, six, seven hours every every evening, all that good stuff. It, it just is one of those things where it, it, it can take its toll on you. Like we get, we get tired and we get sick of going to work and we take time off. Why should it be any different for someone such as such as Ticino? It just is what it is. So I completely understand where he's coming from. I got to take a break. I got to get away from this. Uh, you know, drop a couple videos, come back, refresh, and then we get ready to grind it all the way out with uh, you know, next gen. Because when next when the next generation starts, like it's just like, look, I know he's gonna start on uh, Xbox because you know he got to start on Xbox right off the bat. That's what he said. And then once he does that, you know, he'll probably transition back to PlayStation. But I know he said he'll be on the Xbox for the first two days because, uh, you know, he got to be the first one. You got to get them views, baby. Uh, we will be on the on the Xbox also the first day that it comes out. We're going to have the game. We're going to be putting up a ton of 2K content. So make sure y'all hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Most of you guys here, you probably already have because uh, that's just how y'all do, man. But make sure if, if, if you haven't, just make sure you like that video, man, because, you know, the likes do a whole lot. Up next, man, we got we got the guys over at uh, NBA 2K Lab dispelling a uh, myth. They're doing a bit of a myth buster here, man. I don't know if the screen, yeah, the screen did come up the right way, yes. But you got your boy Spielboy at 2K Lab, and he's talking about what happens when you turn off the shot feedback. Because a lot of people believe that if you turn off the shot feedback, um, you know, 
you 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 get a boost. You get a shot boost if you turn off shot feedback. A lot of people are like, yeah, man, when they turn it off, uh, I, I feel a boost. I'm hitting the shots more. I'm doing this, this, and that. And uh, Spillboy really just said, Brad, this is gonna be one of the shortest videos I've ever put out of all time. Turning off the shot feedback does absolutely nothing. You don't get a boost or anything like that. You literally shoot exactly the same. And the funny thing that he said was a lot of people turn off the shot feedback when they're zenning. So if you're zenning and you turn the shot feedback off so nobody can tell that you're cheating, of course you're gonna notice a, 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 a shot, a shot uh, increase, an increase in the shots that you hit. But like I said, they got this, they got this chart right here, man. They're talking about with the feedback on and the feedback off. It's literally, it's negligible. It's, there's nothing. There's no like you. In some situations, you're, you're shooting better with the shot feedback on. In some situations, you're shooting better with the shot feedback off. But that's just it's it's, it's negligible. And what I'm saying is, there could just be the little errors in the um, you know what I'm saying. It could it, that's just that's that in the scientific process we would just call that like nothing. Like, uh, I, I don't even want to, that's, that's the margin of error. So you don't even have to worry about that. That's just the margin for human error. So uh, that's just how that goes. And last but not least, we got your boy, my boy, my boy, NBA 2K Toots, man, talking about put back boss and uh, how that works. I said put back king at first, but it's put back boss. Y'all know what that is, man. But uh, we talking about put back boss and how put back boss impacts your your uh, ability to put the ball back and, uh, you know, get put backs, get dunks, get all that stuff. And uh, pretty much what he's saying is it, it, it helps it out a lot. But for the exact numbers, you guys are going to have to go over there and watch that video because my guy does some awesome videos. So go over there, check it out, like the video. He does a lot of work for you guys. Y'all don't even understand that. Uh, let's say NBA 2K Labs, they tell you what's going to work no matter what. You know what I'm saying? But most of their stuff, well, they're going to... They're gonna, set up a scenario or a situation that's going to work. So all of the stuff that they're testing or most of the stuff that they're testing is with shooters. So it's with shooters of a certain rate and stuff like that. Toots, let me tell you, Toots gonna figure it out and he gonna show you how to do stuff with uh, with, with non-shooting bills. So if you got a non-shooting bill, he's testing that stuff out. He's got a lot of information over there about that and how you can improve your game if you have a bill that's not necessarily a shooting bill. He part of the shot stick game just like I am. We've all been accused of cheating, especially looking at that video. People will probably say I'm cheating in that video and I missed two shots or something like that. And most of my shots was like wide left, wide right, all that stuff. So it is what it is. But the whole point of what I'm talking about is go check out 2K2. Go check out the video from um, NBA 2K Labs. The link for those are down in the description. We myth busted. We, we, we shouting out. And uh, we taking a break too today. But I'm not taking a break. I'm actually streaming on Twitch right now. Come on over there. Come through. I don't know if I'm going to play some... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to play, man. I want to play this game called ReCore. Um, because I got Xbox Game Pass. But we'll figure out what we're going to play, man. Y'all come through. I'm streaming right now. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. In commits, it don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn, cause I ain't buying. I'm only 5'8, that's fine, nigga. I can give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying, gotta speak. Gotta speak, gotta speak. We good.